Hi, good evening. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Corey Jenkins Jr., the director of tonight's production of The Black Flag, written by Idris Goodwin and premiered off-Broadway in 2017. 2017 to before and also till now, the conversation in regards to race, signs, symbols, the system hasn't really changed that much. Maybe a little bit. But given where we are right now today, there does seem to be more of a promise of change on the horizon. Work has to be done, but it seems like we're going to be able to do something more than before. And this show deals with those very same conversations that we've been having the past few weeks as a nation. I mean, with all the information being uh, shared across different mediums in different ways, it's a conversation that we are dealing with here. And it's a conversation that if you haven't had it already with either yourself, your family, your friends, or like this show, your roommate, have it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Have the conversation because we need it. You need it. Because once we know better, we do better. Right? So I want to thank Idris Goodwin for writing the show, The Room Mechanicals for having the initiative and wanting to do a Zoom production of it. And I just thank the actors, Lauren, uh, Cameron, and Whitney for coming together and helping get this done. I mean, it's, it's Zoom, so it's a, it's a little different than normal, but a fun challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this production and also, again, that it helps continue the conversations that we as a nation need to continue to have. Enjoy. Fall semester, late August. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Finally, in the flesh! I know! <laughs> I'm going to use your Facebook picture, now here you are! So good to finally meet you! Yes. So, you ready for this? Can't wait. <laughs> Okay, Remy, first things first. You mind if I take this side? It just felt right to me. All yours. We can always switch after Christmas break. I mean, winter recess. <laughs> you can say Christmas break here. <laughs> uh, you got any more stuff? I can help. Nah, I thought I'd start light. Gonna be hitting my mom up for them care packages on the regular. <laughs> my mom sent me with everything. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I got, I got jars of peaches, I got peanut brittle, I got moon pie. Lord, no, keep all that away from me. Oh, you mean these? Yes, you, I mean those. You don't like these? Sydney? Hmm, this right here. Damn you. <laughs> So you going to the mixer? Oh yeah, you? I don't know. Oh, come on, you gotta go. I don't want know anybody there. But won't you meet people? Isn't that the point? Nah. I guess your mama really did pack everything for you. <laughs> she might. She wants to make sure I don't forget. She says, don't get lost out there. She's a, a lot of pride. A lot of pride. It's where it come from, you know. It's, it's okay, right? I'm, I mean, I know it's a little, you know, Southern girl, rebel flag, but I, I don't know, you seem like a rebel girl to me. Your side of the room. Uh, um, would you mind giving me a hand? Uh, you know what, actually, I think I'll just... <laughs> Hey, I saw that they have soft serve in that cafeteria. You wanna go now with me? 
Um, nah, I got a lot of stuff here. Okay. Uh, you have my number, so text me if you change your mind and want to meet up. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, do that. All right. Fall semester, November. That's mine. It was under my bed. But it's mine. Well, I thought it was something of mine. Well, it's not, so you didn't read it, did you? You shouldn't have read this. Once you saw that it wasn't something of yours, you shouldn't have read it. Well, I did, so. She says we have to write about what we're feeling and what's on our mind, and we gotta be honest. So this is what you really think? You really shouldn't have read it. It's so secretive, but you read it to your entire class and professor. Come on, Cindy, didn't you ever think for a second? Maybe just, maybe I might be uncomfortable by this? But I don't mean it like that, like it's a... Uh, it's your side of the room, and you have a right to have whatever you want on your wall. You said it assaults you. This cross burning its Confederate history into my nightmares. <laughs> Deja, you don't think I'm one of those redneck assholes you read about or see on- Ever called you a dumb redneck. You have the poem in your hands. I never said anything about you. Uh, this poem is called To My Roommate. It wasn't to you, to you. It was a free write, and in a free write, you're supposed to just let all the thoughts fall out of your brain. She says, don't censor, and I didn't. I just didn't realize it. When I put it up, I, I didn't even think about it. It was something that could be a, a problem for you. Of course you didn't. I don't mean it as <laughs> it represents my home and my culture. The good thing, though, I, I don't mean like. It's whatever, okay? Your side of the room. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I said it's whatever. Okay. All right. All right? All right. <laughs> Last one? It's all good. You have it. Harry and Deja burst into the room, each holding red cups, stumbly, tipsy, making out. <laughs> they fall into bed. They fumble. One of the red cups spills. Lights on. Harry sees the flag. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Fall semester. December. Is that... Uh... Yeah. My roommate is from the South, and she has a lot of pride. Uh, was this up when you moved in? She actually asked me to help her put it up. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. No. <laughs> yep. First day. She pulled it out of her bag and hung it up. Ironically, oh, yeah. it's her side of the room. She can put up whatever, it, as long as it's not like gory stuff or porn. So it doesn't bother you. Okay. They start to make out again, but. Look, I, I know how it looks. Yeah, it looks kind of racist. Her mother gave it to her so she wouldn't forget, you know, where she came from. Ah, 
didn't want her to get lost out here with all these weirdos and godless heathens. But now, honey, when you get out there, don't you go fraternizing with them homos and Arabs. Stop. <laughs> you can bring this up to the school, you know. Tell them you want a different room. I I'm for real. I thought of that at first, but... But? It's not, this is going to sound like I'm trying to make a pun, but it, it's not so black and white. I see one thing and she sees something else. It's not clear cut. I see slavery, obviously, but she sees her mama and just like being country and Southern. You know, you see this flag on like country albums and belt buckles and uh, what was that TV show with the car? I don't know. My grandpa was always watching it. Something with a car. Uh, I don't know. I... She sees like country pride in a real generic way. It, it just means I'm from the South. Where they used to enslave African Americans. You are too much. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't want to, I just got here, you know, it's my first year of college. I worked my ass off and it's hard enough just trying to, I mean, I can't just go to classes and parties and just, do I have to be starting a whole thing just because I see something different on her side of the room? I don't like it. I don't, but I don't like a lot of things I see in here from the white folks. No, no, I feel you, but. But, but, you're always with that. Why do you even care? You ain't black. Well, Deja, for starters, um, I hate slavery. <laughs> you sure it's not some prejudice against Southerners based on a bunch of stereotypes? You just assume they're all racist and want slavery back? That's not fair. No, but... A flag is just colors and fabric. The meaning changes depending on, like, who's holding it and who's looking at it. I just gotta make it through the first year and then I can try and get reassigned for some arbitrary ass reason. But no, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be the black girl. The angry black girl who started some shit over a flag? Especially if the girl who put the flag up is this sweet bubbly girl who's just trying to stay connected to home. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's gonna start a whole thing People gonna be all over Yik Yak and Facebook and putting my picture all over the internet, giving their opinions and no, nah. -uh. You've given us a lot of thought. The brochure ain't saying nothing about this. <laughs> they look at the flag together a while longer. They drink. The Boys of Hazard. What? Uh, the show. The show you were. Um... No, no, it was Hazard. Hazard. Yeah. Ha hazard. Uh... Dukes. Dukes of Hazard. Right. Yep. Yep. Doughy eyes, dumb grins, sexual energy returns. But alas, moment broken. A drunk Sydney bursts in. Whoops. She tries to back out and closes the door on her foot. She falls over laughing. Jesus, Sydney. I'm so, so sorry, Deja. I didn't know you were studying. <laughs> Who's this, Deja? Uh, I'm Harry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sydney, what have you been drinking? Just iced tea. Just iced tea? Mm -hmm. It's from just up the way. It's a wonderful place called Long Island. <laughs> oh my God. 
Sorry, Harry. I think I might have to. No, it's oh, all right. No, 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 no I, I can help. I'm you, messing I, up. I can do it. Sit down. Come on, I can just. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. You I'm okay. You might want a bucket. What did you say, Herman? Harry. What did you say? I don't. What did I say? Sydney. Something about a bucket? Yeah, you just look pretty messed up. <laughs> oh, maybe you don't know me, but Sydney Blanchard does not puke. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, Deja, I'll call you. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. I, don't, don't go. I didn't mean to interrupt. Look, I, I, I want you to come here, damn it. <laughs> there. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I remember what I came here for. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Harry. What? kind of accent was that supposed to be? I wasn't doing an accent. No? <laughs> Sound like you were trying to parrot me. He wasn't, Sid. I know what a fake southern accent sounds like. See, because I come from Georgia, and when we say bye, we say it just like how I said it. Bye. But you said it like you were from Texas or something. You said bye. See the difference? Thank you. Okay, Sydney. Bye, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all want one of these peaches? No. No, Sydney. Suit yourself. Mm -hmm. Little piece of home right there. <laughs> yep, you got home all over this place. Plate peaches and your flag. Stop it. <sighs> What's that, Harry? Now she remembers my name. We're gonna go too. Let's all just get out of this room. No, I think I want to stay right here. Here with you and Harry in my room. With your flag. Yes, and, and your flag. This is the shirt. But it's the flag. And you're walking it around everywhere on your shirt. California bear bowl up in everybody's face. <laughs> Mine lives right here in my space, my private space. Calm down. I don't like this guy, Deja. He, this guy's a, he's a. Sid. You can do better than this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right, idiot? Don't call me an idiot, you drunk. Stop it, oh. both of you, stop it. Mm. Calling me an idiot? At least I'm not, ain't racist. You don't even know me. You don't even know me. I know what this is. Sydney, maybe you just want to calm down. He wasn't- Oh, don't you know, give me that, Deja. You're the first one who started all this crap. Don't yell at her. You're, everyone You're the one who was so insensitive. Bringing this a flag? My best friend is in high school. Like, just, you are a racist. racist. You have Don't a racist mentality. Race. That's yeah, what you have. Not a racist. Oh. <laughs> Spring semester, early January. Over the break is the winter recess. My whole family, cousins and aunties, we meet up in a Stone Mountain Park, just outside Atlanta. We have this tradition, you know, day after Christmas, we always all go up there and have a picnic, catch up with each other. It's real nice, trees, lots of land. And of course, this big old plantation house and a museum about that plantation house, where they tell you stories about the old time, how things used to be. 
I mean, there's Stone Mountain. There's an actual stone mansion right there staring down at you. And chiseled in the side, it's got like all these Civil War guys, Jefferson, Stonewall, and Robert E. We grow up hearing about these guys like they're saints our whole lives. And, and you know, I mean, really, my family's not. Anyway, so we're at the park and there's this other family. Really, there's a lot of families out there that day, but there's this one I keep overhearing. Well, two guys, really. And one of them says it was right there on that stone mountain was where the clan, they jump started the clan there. Like the second comment they met on stone mountain. They don't share that fact with you in the old plantation house. And, and these guys were talking about action. How these guys weren't afraid to act. And how Dylan Roof. The South Carolina shooter? They were just saying how they thought he was just a mix up kid and they didn't agree with murder, but didn't he have some balls? He wasn't afraid to take some action. Oh my God. Yeah. I just, I wanted to walk up over there and say a million things to them, but I was. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, Deja, and pretend a lot of these so-called liberal kids here do. I've heard shit like this before. But what really hit me, they started complaining about how after Roof killed these people, they took the flag down. Your flag? Yes, this flag. They took it down in South Carolina. And these guys kept saying, they better not try and do that here in Georgia. That big ear some bitch Obama better not try and take my flag. <laughs> Just kept going from there. And I swear, Deja, I thought about you and that night with that Harry. He's not so bad. I, whatever, I know you guys are all booed up now. But I thought about what happened here in this room and that poem you wrote and how you wrote it's arms blocking off history from evolving past its scars my mom gave me this so I wouldn't forget her and how she raised me but now when I see it all I see is those guys talking about doing the roof and taking action and god Deja it's time. It's got to come down. Your flag right here. Yes. Good. But can you help me? How? Help me take it down. Help you take it down or take it down for you? I know you don't want this here. Every day you gotta be thinking, oh, I just wanna yank that damn thing. Sydney? And I get it now. Sydney. <laughs> Do it. Take it down. It's okay with me. But it's not okay with me. But it's, but wait, I, wait, I'm just, trying. I don't want to take your flag down for you. See, if I take it down for you, then the story is, it came down because you have a black roommate, because your black roommate was uncomfortable, but it should make you uncomfortable too. It should make anybody uncomfortable. I want you to want to take your flag down. I want those guys in Stone Mountain Park to want to take it down. I, I want- Okay, 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 okay. It has to be you. Sydney faces the flag, can't move. 
Why can't I bring myself to move? Why does it hurt when I try? It's like you told me. It's where you come from. It's pride. 